Natalie, we've seen one three-meter final so far. We have another one tonight. We do, and Kyle, prelims was a battle between former Big 12 champions and Texas teammates Haley Fernandez and Bridget O'Neill. O'Neill, the junior, started off strong with her first dive. Her inward two and a half somersault in the pike position was her second highest scoring dive of the contest. She earned seven and a half and eight on this dive, a total of 69 points. Round three, Hernandez's forward three and a half somersault in the tough position actually got identical scores with O'Neill as it moved her up into second place, only eight points behind her teammate O'Neill. Then it got interesting in round five. Hernandez's reverse two and a half tuck got eight and a half and nine, totaling 71.4 points, moving her into the top spot heading into that final round. But O'Neill's forward two and a half, one and a half for eight sealed the deal to put her seated first heading into finals tonight. Now O'Neill wants to defend her title from 2021 while Hernandez will be fighting for back-to-back -back crown. And of course, these two ladies are joined by their teammates, Sarah Carruthers, Jordan Skilkin, Janie Boyle, Jocelyn Buss of Iowa State, Anna Kwong of TCU, and Lisa Van Luyen of Kansas also join the three meter finals party. Unbelievable dive. She just floats in the air, spins so fast. Her spinning actually goes up as she's going, getting eight and a half on this dive. Boyle, little back on the board, doesn't matter. She gets the height, drills the entry. I know she's been working on her entries and her comeouts. Man, it's paying off. touch on the height that Kwong gets. She rides the springboard so well, and she's a former trampolina, so it makes sense that she can jump so high off the springboard. She's doing a reverse one and a half, two and a half twist. Great takeoff. These Texas women are having very, very consistent takeoffs, their hurdles, getting a strong jump. Bridget O'Neill, long line, squares it out, disappears underwater. You see how she finds that hole. Pike saves really quick to minimize the splash. Miles at the camera, she's happy with that one. Okay, so last round I mentioned that she was a trampolinist, that's how she gets so much height. And on the diving board, the fulcrum, which is that tan circular thing that the divers move back and forth, she actually puts that all the way back between eight and a half and nine, right there. She puts it all the way back so she can get the most spring out of the board. That makes the board bend more. The stiffer you have it, you'll put it at one or two, eight and a half, nine. You're really going to get the most out of the diving board. Oh! Hernandez with his forward three and a half somersault in the tuck position. This was actually the dive that moved her into second place behind Bridget O'Neill in prelims. And you can see why. It's one of her best dives, getting nine, eight and a half. She has such a nice jump, keeps her chest up on the start. Jumps so high, floats the dive around, tight tug, gives it a nod. She liked it. The judges liked it as well. Take a look at it again. Sets up the hurdle, gets to the end, arms all the way through, pikes it out above the three meter gorgeous lines. O'Neill is long and lean, so she stretches in the water. Really nice job by Skilkin. That's a hard dive, and she makes it look so easy. Gives the head nod, all smiles. She does such a nice job of lining this dive up. Stretch.
punches at the end of the board, tight pike, good twist, lines it up. You see how she locks her arms in right before the entry. Here's Bridget O'Neill with her final dive. Only needs 45.55 for first. And she puts it away, Bridget O'Neill's full out in prelims. She got eights and nines to seal the deal, and here she gets eights again, a total of 72 points. Bridget O'Neill is a Big 12 champion on the three meter yet again. She won it back in 2021, and here we are two years later in 2023, and she does it again. Bridget O'Neill, your gold medalist here at the Big 12 Conference Championships on the three meter springboard, but lots of support from her coach, Matt Scoggin, her teammates, the junior gets it done yet again on the three meter springboard.